And now next year, the president of Rotary International is going to be from Korea. Is that right? And can you believe right. last year with us being number one in the world, Korea was right behind us, and their contributions were $2,000 less than ours. Only 2000 Son of a gun. Yep. Someone 2000. hot on your heels. Yep. I wonder if they thought they were going to get it. <laughs> I don't know. Someone came in last minute. I don't cutting know. That jack to keep I don't that. know. How about over the the last four years? What the other two years? Where who who else uh, overtook uh, District 77? I can't you even tell you. Sure. I can't. But the way Rotary works is the money that we give to the annual programs fund. Right. Three years later, half of that money comes back to the district. So last year, I received a letter in the mail saying you're going to be getting $446,000. Well, you can imagine a woman's gleam in her eye oh, wow. at $446,000 to spend. But it's, it's specified that you have to spend it on educational right. and humanitarian um, projects. Mm -hmm. And so we selected eight ambassadorial scholars to go abroad to study. Mm -hmm. Those mm -hmm. scholarships are worth $26,000 each. No way, Mary. Yes. Coming out of District 7770, right. that's and, tremendous. And the University of South Carolina has sent more ambassadorial scholars out in the world than any other, any other university in the world. Is that right? Yes. That's tremendous. We're heavy, we're heavy on Great the, recognition yes. for the Palmetto State. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and we... We sent four cultural scholars out this past year, and those are young people that could be in college and they really have a desire to learn to speak another language. Mm -hmm. It could be a teacher in an elementary school that wants to learn how to speak another language. If she has to teach it right. and she's not real comfortable with it, she could apply for a cultural scholarship, and they go to another country and study for three months. Those scholarships are 12000 each. Is that, that's fantastic. And then the other monies, we had um, 210000 that we can spend on district simplified grants and on matching grants. Matching grants have to be spent out of the country. Right. District simplified can be just in our district. Mm -hmm. We have uh, something else in our area that's real exciting. We yeah, sent share with us. A, a group study exchange to South Africa and they are there as we speak. The leader of that team is from Conway and her name is Elizabeth Smith. And really? she and her husband are missionaries and they love starting schools in different countries, but her primary focus on this trip, she is the leader and she has asked to go to all the orphanages that she can get into mm -hmm. so that she can look for maybe a project that we can use some matching grant money and work with the, the district over there. So um, it'll be interesting to hear her story when she comes back. Absolutely. And so you might want to think about getting her yeah, on the air. That. that would be really good. She'll be back uh, the end of the year. Or Actually, no, she comes back next <clears throat> Saturday sure. on the 6th. That's great, this yep. Saturday. That's yep. fantastic. Yep. Absolutely. Of course, you know, today where you're airing, right in the middle of the week, we had, of course, Mike uh, Hogan with us yesterday. We've got an attorney tomorrow, and then Tom Leith, Myrtle Beach's city manager. Mm -hmm. So many folks from all walks of life that remain active in Rotary right. and um, day in and day out making a difference. But, of course, when you think, had you, growing up, Mary, had you gotten active in Rotary? Uh, had you thought about it because one of your parents had been? I no, know you couldn't get in no, until age no. Right. Um, I never had considered it. And when I first started to work, in, I was in Bennettsville right. in 1977. They pushed uh, human resources managers to get involved in the community. Right. Well, I was involved in the community, but I couldn't go to Rotary, but my boss could. <laughs> and uh, so I lived with that right. from 77 until 88. Yeah. And uh, I had been working on the United Way campaign right. in Florence, and one of the guys invited me to Rotary. And that's how I was actually invited. And then when the time came that they could invite women, right. he invited me to go back and join. And that was uh, a nationwide piece, 88 was the year yes. when it opened. Mm -hmm. what, what prompted it? Have you ever heard? Was yes, there a it was woman a lady. Was it was yeah. a woman in California that, right. that was a professional woman and she felt that she should be offered the opportunity to be sure. a part of this club. Sure. Yeah. And uh, really it started, Rotary started out with an attorney 
in Chicago, and he was kind of lonesome. He had moved to Chicago, and he didn't have any friends. So he invited two other professionals. Let's start getting together at lunch and talk about how we can support each other each other's business mm, mm. and so that's how it started and it grew by leaps and bounds and the name rotary started because every week they met at one person's business and then we go to another around. right wow and then when it got so big then they had to start meeting in restaurants and that's sure, that's sure. how it got its name that is exciting Mary. Now, are the prices for folks to join, or is, is Rotary always looking for new members? We're Does all, it depend on uh, a club to club? All the mm. club's goals are to increase membership. Right. And Rotary still is that kind of organization that you have to be invited to is join right? Rotary. Sure. And, um, it, but it, it's not that expensive. Your dues are like less than a hundred dollars a year for right? district and international dues what cost in rotary is the price of meals price of meals actually the lunch yes, and breakfast yes. each, uh, and each week exactly mm -hmm. because depending on the way the club bills if they bill quarterly they bill for 13 lunches or 13 breakfast and my club bills twice a year so i get hit with 26 lunches at right. one time right. but if you stop and think about our meals right now at at my club are 13 dollars a week mm -hmm. but where can you go in this town and have lunch with a group of professional people mm -hmm. and hear a professional program mm -hmm about something that's going on in the area and and I tell people and have lunch with us right 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 uh, you know and there's a lot of camaraderie in each club mm -hmm. and uh we have one guy Charlie Sprinkle in our club and he's one of the funniest men I think I've ever met really? and and then you have other people in your club that will get up and tell one or two funny stories and and it doesn't matter how your morning's gone when you go there and you are able to talk and laugh a little bit and let loose, right. it relieves the tension. That's tremendous, Mary. Yeah. yeah. That's tremendous. Has your involvement encouraged your, your own children to get involved? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> You're still praying for the day. Yeah, yeah it's, it's funny. My son is part owner in a car dealership in Wilmington, and I keep right. saying, John, you need to join Rotary. Well, I just don't have time. Well. You really do have you time. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you yeah. really do. Yeah. And and I tell people if a doctor and a lawyer right. and a dentist can schedule time for Rotary, you right. can too. It's a matter of your preferences and your priorities because once you start going to a meeting, you don't want to miss because you don't know what you're missing when you're not there. Mm -hmm. and Great point. Yeah. Y yeah, because you don't ever know what program is going to come in, and I'm. I'm just going to give a plug right now. Yeah. Senator McCain is going to be speaking at the Paula's Island Rotary Club next Thursday. Is that right? And so I even heard that President Nixon showed up one day at a Rotary meeting mm -hmm. somewhere in this in this country. Uh, he was in town, saw where Rotary met. He was a Rotarian, and so he and his entourage showed up for Rotary. So you, right. you don't ever know, and in our area... It's uh, particularly kind of nice because people from all over the world come here on vacation. Sure. Golly. And they just show up at Rotary because they know they're always welcome. Right. So you never know who's going to be at your Rotary Club. That is wonderful, Mary. What a great experience. You know, for, for folks, we, we've got just a couple of minutes in that idea that you shared early in the interview, that aspect of sitting back and thinking about all the districts and all the the clubs uh, worldwide, and mm -hmm. to think of that impact, it really is significant. As you sit there, you could have all, we could have almost ended the interview on that, mm -hmm. and let folks just think of the significance mm -hmm. of that because yeah. it truly is an earth changing and just a life changing event. The fact right. that Rotary got started, and in the international component actually started in Chicago, mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. Chicago, and. It's, it's like I tell people in the clubs, when you do, donate your money to the foundation and we support programs all over the world, you don't know whose life you've touched and right. you don't know whose life you've saved right. by giving a child a clean glass of water, mm -hmm. by helping a woman that has uh, been uh, downtrodden all her life mm -hmm. and never had a chance to learn to read nor to write. 
-hmm. in order to make a living for her family. And you can give them a simple sewing machine, Mm -hmm. and they can learn how to sew and make a living and support their family. Mm -hmm. And one of the presidents, when I was in California talking, said he hoped that the sun would never set on a rotary project in the world. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty powerful when you stop and Mm -hmm. think about it. Mm It's an amazing organization. Did you ever think you'd get as much out of Rotary as you've gotten in the last 20 years? No, I really didn't. And every day of my life, I learn something new about Rotary, and I have a new experience with Rotary. Mm -hmm. And I'm just humbled and honored at the same time to be a part of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you've brought some of those kids into your own home, I yes. believe. Yes, I the have. international mm-hmm. experiences there. Yeah. Anything that really stands it, out? Well, the first person that I had in my home from another country was a female allergist from um, Egypt, mm-hmm. from Cairo. And it was very interesting when she and I started talking about our similarities and yet our differences wow. because she's Muslim and she actually showed me how she prayed and how they have to cover their body except for their face. That's the only thing they can show during prayer. Mm. And then you talk about your cultures and how different they are. And she had never spent the night in anyone's home. Mm-hmm. They can't. As a girl in Egypt, they cannot stay in anyone's home. So my house was the first house she had ever spent the night in other than her family. And and so I think when you get these people into your homes and you start talking to them and you realize that we are similar, right. very similar, we still are in touch with each other today. Right. And that's been a long time ago that I had her in my home. That's but, great. yeah, that does stand out. I took her to church with me to a Methodist church. Oh, Mary, we're going to have to get you back in <laughs> to talk about that another time. I'm sorry we've run out of time. That's I'd love okay. to hear that story. Thanks. Just Thank her, you. a Muslim, being there at the mm-hmm. Methodist church. Thanks so much for being with us this morning. Thank you. Absolutely. It's fun. Stay tuned to more Carolina People with District Governor Mary Martin coming up next. Won't that be a special day? Won't that be a special day when someone's asked the question, why did you get into Rotary? The response there is, you know, I'm just following in my mom's footsteps. I'm following in my mom's footsteps. You know, we think about Mary Martin here, a district 7770 encompassing 25 eastern counties of South Carolina, 78 clubs, 5,000 Rotarians. Day in, day out, just think if District 7770 wasn't around the amount of impact they have in these 25 eastern counties, but that real exciting aspect, even that second question, why did you decide to to go ahead and position yourself for district governor? Well, I was following in my mom's footsteps. What a tremendous opportunity, Mary Martin and so many other Rotarians making a difference every day.